we're going to find the probability of getting doubles on two of these six-sided dice. So I've got two of these. I want to start first with this example, the probability of getting two ones. And I'm going to go ahead and develop the sample space here. As I put my sample space together, for the first dice, I can come up with any number one through six. I'm going to do a tree diagram, one, two, three, four, five, and six. For that second dice, I can also come up with any number one through six, and I'm going to pair that with what I got up above. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, same with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, dot, dot, dot. There's a bunch of pairs that live in this. But as I'm looking at my probability, I want to get the probability of getting a one and a one. Well, there's only one of those pairs and it shows up right here. So there's my one comma one. There are 36 of these branches, six ways for the first dice times six ways for the second dice means that the number in that sample space or the total possible outcomes is 36. So a one and a one can only happen one way out of those total 36. Next, let's do any double. So the probability of getting any double, so this would be double twos, double threes, double fours, any of those doubles. That's gonna be the probability of getting any number on the first dice, so any number, and the same number on the second dice, so and the same number on the second dice. As I put this together, I'm gonna to go ahead and use the multiplication principle. This tells me that I'm going to multiply those two probabilities together. So the probability of any number times the probability of the same number. When I put this one together, the probability of any number on that first dice, it could be any of the six out of the six. So I'm going to write that as six out of six times the probability of getting the same number. So if I roll this first dice and it lands on two, that means the second number has to be a two and there's only one way to match it. So there's only one way to get the same number on that second dice. So I get six out of 36, but I could also reduce this and the probability of getting any doubles is equal to one out of six. Be sure and watch this next video. It's going to show you how to find the probability of a sum on two dice. You've got this. Thanks so much for watching.